In this video, I will show you the improved version of the Polar Alignment tool of the Amgen 3 Autogather. This feature allows you to get a very precise polar alignment within a short time. The process is divided into two parts, a coarse adjustment and a fine adjustment. Well, let's start. For a polar alignment, it is not absolutely required to adjust the tripod with a bubble level, but I recommend to do so as we want to roughly align the mount using an app. I'm using the app GPS status and by the help of the compass function, I adjust the mount towards north as best as possible. We can now set up the mount onto the tripod and tighten the screws slightly. In a second step, we are using the app to adjust the altitude corresponding to your geographic position. Just have a look at the pitch roll display in the upper left of the app. If all necessary cable connections are established and as soon as it is dark enough, we can start the polar alignment. The telescope should be in the meridian position, that means on the equator and shortly before or after the meridian. Assume the motor of the mount is running and the engine's camera is focused. You can power up the engine and leave the one push menu by pushing the escape button. Navigate to Polar Alignment and hit Set to confirm. Let's do all the necessary adjustments here. Set up the hemisphere you are located in and the focal length of your guide scope, 180 mm in my case. In any case, an odd number of mirrors is within the optical path of your guide scope. You should tick the Optics with Mirror box. Now we can calibrate by confirming with the set button. Oh no, my fault. First of all, we should search for stars. When stars are found, we can now calibrate the engine. The engine will ask you now to stop the motor of the mount or move the right ascension towards east. This can easily be done by holding the left button for just a few seconds. You can see the star slowly moving and as soon as it moved a significant amount, you can stop the process by confirming the OK button. A small line appears and shows the direction where Polaris is located. Now the engine knows all the parameters it needs for a precise measurement. Our first course adjustment will be done in the meridian position. Select start measurement and hit set to confirm. After 30 seconds, the numbers should be stabilized and we can stop measuring. Now our job is to find out how much of turning the azimuth knobs is needed to reduce the polar line error completely. To do so, I turn one knob exactly for half a turn. Make sure those knobs work as they are supposed to do. We now make a second measurement to see what effect this half of a turn had. So we need to search stars again, because the field of view changed slightly with our movement. Now we start measuring again by hitting the set button. Wait again for, let's say, 30 seconds. And now we can calculate the difference half a turn made. The difference between both measurements tells you exactly how many arc minutes or arc seconds relates to half a turn of the azimuth knobs. So write that down and from now on and for all future, you can make a course adjustment after your first measurement. To do the fine adjustment, we need to move the telescope towards east.
Select correction in the menu and make sure east is selected as sky location. If for any reason your telescope is looking west, make sure it is selected here as well. Again trigger the star search by selecting it and pushing the set button. After just a few seconds, the multi-star appears in the display as well as the distance. Now very carefully turn your azimuth knobs to reduce the distance until a line appears in the display. The goal is to move the multi-star exactly onto this line. If this is done and the distance shows nearly zero, you are done with the azimuth adjustment. Congratulations! For the course adjustment of the altitude, the telescope stays in this east position. Just tell the engine in the main menu here that the current position is east. Now again we search for stars and as soon as this is done, we can start our first measurement. The procedure is very similar to the azimuth correction. After the value has settled down, you can stop the measurement and turn the altitude knobs for half a turn. You do a second measurement and then you know exactly what distance follows by half a turn of those knobs. Again, write it down somewhere for all future. And from now on, you can directly correct your altitude after the first course measurement. Here is an example. My first measurement showed 18 arc minutes of a distance up. After half a turn, it now shows 21 minutes down. Consequently, half a turn leads to a difference of 40 minutes. So I need to do a quarter of a turn up to reach the final position. Okay, turns out to be not perfectly, but you can improve this with a little practice. Now it's time for the fine adjustment. Choose correction and turn the telescope back to the meridian position. Tell the engine the position of the telescope and do a star search. Again, turn carefully on the altitude knobs until the distance gets smaller and smaller and the line appears and the number goes down to zero. Congrats, you are done! With a little practice you can do a very precise polar alignment within a few minutes using the Engine 3. The precision of this method is close enough for most cases in astrophotography. Have a good time, clear skies and see you soon!